Well, good morning, families of Trinity. Today is the second Sunday of the Advent season. Last week, we lit the first candle for the Advent wreath for hope. And this week, we're lighting the second candle for peace. And the scripture from Pastor Andrew's sermon today is from Isaiah. And it is a foreshadowing of John the Baptist. Uh, it talks about a voice calling out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. So Ashley and I decided that today we were going to uh, bring you a little version of the story of John the Baptist. So she is going to read the story, and I am going to play a acoustic version of Mary Did You Know as she reads the story for you. Early one morning, Daniel and Matthew's mother called to them, Boys, please get up. Something very special is happening today. Can't we just sleep a little longer, asked Daniel, yawning. Matthew noticed that his mother was already dressed. What is happening today, he asked. John the Baptist is baptizing people in the River Jordan. She said, let's hurry so we can go see him. As the sleepy boys rolled up their sleeping mat, they asked, who is John the Baptist? John the Baptist is one of God's servants, said their mother. He baptizes us to wash away our sins. Excited about the journey, the boys ate a breakfast of bread and dates, strapped on their sandals, and were ready to go. Matthew and Daniel held their mother's hands as they walked to the River Jordan. The road was busier than usual, as hundreds of people walked in the same direction. Everyone was in a hurry. Look, said Matthew, I see the baker from the market. And over there is the woman who sells baskets. Do you see that man up ahead? asked Daniel. He's riding a camel with two humps. He must have come from far away, said their mother. The crowd grew as it approached the River Jordan. Many people were gathering along the river's edge. The boys and their mother drew close to the shore, but the boys could not see anything. Matthew and Daniel tried to peer between people's legs. They craned their necks and squinted their eyes. Despite their efforts, they could only get a glimpse of the feet of the man speaking to everyone. Finally, with their mother's permission, they crawled to the front of the crowd for a better view. Facing the people was a strong man dressed in simple clothes. The man smiled at Daniel and Matthew. As the two boys sat on the ground, Daniel looked at the man's plain robe and twine belt. He whispered to his brother, Is that John the Baptist? I think so, answered Matthew. Just then the baker stepped forward. John the Baptist led him into the river until the water was waist high. As John the Baptist gently pushed the baker's head under the water, he said, In the name of God, I baptize you. Then the baker came out of the water, wet but smiling. Yes, that must be John the Baptist, said Matthew to his brother. He does not need to wear fine clothes to be important. A stranger waded into the water. He stopped in front of John the Baptist. John the Baptist fell to his knees and bowed his head. The stranger put his hand on John the Baptist's shoulder. Then the boys recognized the stranger. It is Jesus, they shouted. Jesus smiled at the boys. John the Baptist must be important if Jesus is his friend, whispered Daniel. The crowd grew quiet as everyone listened to Jesus. John, said Jesus, I would like you to baptize me. But Jesus, said John the Baptist, with his head still bowed low, I am not worthy of such a task. You are the one who should baptize me. God chose you, said Jesus. He thinks you are very special. Understanding God's will, John the Baptist humbly put his hand on Jesus' head and said, In the name of God, I baptize you. Then he gently pushed Jesus' head into the river. At once, a ray of sun broke through the clouds, and a warm wind blew. Dripping wet, Jesus emerged from the water and said, Thank you, John. I am happy to do God's will, said John the Baptist. beautiful white bird landed on Jesus' shoulder. Jesus smiled at the boys again and said, God
God sent this dove because he is very pleased that I have been baptized. He loves me just the way he loves you. The crowd started to move into the water toward John the Baptist. Come with me, boys, said Daniel and Matthew's mother. The time has come for us to be baptized. Smiling, Daniel and Matthew took their mother's hands and walked with her into the river. Thank you guys for listening to the story of John the Baptist with us today. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. See ya.